Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update and finale for Partners in Cream. Partners in Cream is a project pan created by Steph Lyons and Delin, and it is liquid and cream makeup products only, no powder products. Liquid and creams expire more quickly, and a lot of us tend to neglect, especially cream cheek products in favor of powder ones. Though I feel like that has definitely shifted over the last few years, but it's still mostly true for me. I love this project pan. It definitely pushes me outside of my comfort zone. It encourages me to reach for cream and liquid products so much more. The reason I feel I need to end this project right now, we are towards the end of October, is because I'm just having too many project pans going on right now and not that I'm overwhelmed with the number of products because you most likely will be finding these products I'm going to update you on appearing in my project pans you know into the new year and for the like roll-ins for the latter half of this year am I making any sense but because I have so many projects and like days that updates are supposed to be going up and I'm constantly behind and constantly missing them. And when was the last time I filmed an update for this project? Because it's only five items and I don't usually have a ton of progress to share. This is the project pan I feel most comfortable like skipping the update in favor of catching up on the update that's supposed to come after that, if that makes sense. So I love this project so much and I feel a bit of sadness for ending it, but just I don't know when the last time I updated this project is and my schedule is too full for all of the updates I'm supposed to be posting. Like I'm supposed to be posting, I'm supposed to be posting. That was hard for me to say deck of panning today. And yet I'm on, you know, the 10th of my video list, if that makes sense. Um, that was definitely an over explanation uh, and a lot of rambling. So let's hop into my progress. I have two super shock shadows in this project. One of them I just kind of like rolled into this project on my own. I don't think I've ever shown this in an update. And this is my super shock shadow in Kathleen Lights. There is a big pan on this. And this is one of my top 10 oldest cream products in my collection. So my intention was to declutter it at the end of the year. However, I've used it four times and it's still in perfect condition and I love it so much. I think this is going to be my exception. I think I'm going to allow myself to keep one of 10 of my oldest ones and then I need to declutter it at the end of 2024. Um, so I have used this four or five times. The pan hasn't really expanded. I've mostly been focusing on the outer edge. Um, again, you will most likely be seeing these products show up in other project pans. The one I did have in this project officially that I showed you before is Telepathy. My goal was to hit pan on this, but I only used it five times. This one is more dried out than Kathleen Lights, though this one is a smidge bit newer. <laughs> Heavy quotation marks there. There is a slight little dent happening in here, but definitely no pan. Um, this looks similar to a shade that is in my Hella palette. And so when I'm using, like when I have that palette open, I'm just reaching for the shade within the Hella palette, not opening like a whole new product. So that's what happened here, no pan. Okay, this is a little bit funny. I didn't think that this was a goal met. I was just sneaking it in here. This is my Tarte Cream Blush in Seychelles. And I thought without checking my notebook that I had a 20 use goal on this and I was going to be like, oh, I was almost there. I've actually used this 19 times. So I have surpassed my goal, which now I'm feeling a little bit silly because I wanted to roll in, like start working on my Fenty Cream Bronzer as soon as I had used this 20 times. So I was trying to reach for it 20 times. Um, oh, well, I got four extra uses. I've actually used this 24 times, like 
in total, this whole thing. And there is three grams of product in here, which seems pretty significant to me. 0.1 ounces and this is just the mini so I guess this is a goal met I surpassed my goal on this one I know I did not meet my goal on my rare beauty blush in the shade joy this also had a 15 use goal on it and I used it 9 out of 15 times this is a very vibrant shade and I feel like it doesn't go with everything when I'm going for a very bright pink look especially I think this looks amazing if I'm going really like natural on the eyes I think this looks amazing but I'm not always doing looks like that so I am happy with getting nine uses on this over the summer but I am ready to be reaching for other cream and liquid blushes in my collection and I'm going to put this one away for a bit since the last time I updated this, which I don't even know when that was, I have used my L'Oreal Lumi foundation 20 times. I had a goal to finish this. I've used it a total of 70 times and I'm now down to here. So I really don't have that much left. This is one I'm definitely thinking I'm going to put in my rolling project 10 pan or maybe depending on what I get for deck of panning prompts. Um, I have a little bin to the side of my vanity. It's actually like right here out of shot of like my priority products, products that are almost empty but I'm not focusing on right this second. Just the smartest options for project pans in terms of my goals maybe not necessarily like there's a couple eyeshadow palettes in there I should not be working on any extra eyeshadow palettes right now so this is going to go in that bin is what my rambling is all about because I only have this much left I mean this is a big chunk of glass at the bottom like a very little amount of foundation left in this and I would love for it to be an empty by the end of the year but as I am finishing this project today. Um, I'm going to work on one of my other foundations before refocusing on this. Again, over explaining things as usual. And lastly, I was working on my Cover FX Blurring Primer. I am happy to say I finished this. I used it 34 additional times since the last update for a total of 124 uses to finish. I actually really enjoyed this and I'm going to have to dig through my inventory like my collection and see if I have something that can replace this not that I'm going to purchase this exact one to replace it but it was a bit of it was a drier formula and really filled my pores but without providing like a slip on top I don't know if that makes any sense I feel like my foundation gripped on top of this primer really well compared to some of my other ones. I have a lot of more hydrating and smoothing primers which work great as we come into the winter time. Even when my skin is feeling dry I always want to be filling in my pores but this was pore filling and mattifying which was wonderful in the summer. I really enjoyed this primer a lot but I am so happy to have a high value makeup empty to add to my little my very small bin of makeup empties for the year. This definitely feels like a win. So I was actually working on six products in my Partners in Cream project and I'm very happy that I met my goal on two products and the remaining four products will most likely find, well, three of the products will most likely find their way into other projects either towards the end of this year or into next. Um, I do, I am going to put away my Rare Beauty blush and choose a new cream or liquid blush to focus my attention on. I am still feeling a little bit sad for ending this project, but I do think that that is what is best for me in my current hectic situation I have going on. I would consider restarting it again in January just because I let just because I love Steph Lyons and Talyn so much and I think this project is amazing and I love the community around this project, just right now I need less on my plate. But if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know and I will see you in my next one. Bye!